So now what we want to talk about are conditions in a template. That is an if else statement inside of our template itself. Now, by and large, you want to make sure that your logic is already handled in your view. That's kind of a general rule of thumb. I'll get into that a lot more later when we get more advanced. But basically, if you're going to be doing a lot of if else statements, you're going to want to do those in the view and change your context that you're rendering in the template. You don't want the template to do too much of that work. But there are cases where you will want your template to do it. And I'm going to show you a very basic example of that. But I'm also going to give you a little bit of a warning with your variable naming with templates. Okay, so the first thing is when you have your context here and you render it out, and let's say, for instance, you do have a list like this, we're going to want to be very selective about how we rendered that inside of our for loop. So in other words, if I changed, let's say, for instance, my text to being ABC, and then inside of my about, I have ABC here, and then I change my variable in my for loop as ABC, the things get a little hairy. And they might render fine, right? So it, it renders out fine. But then when I actually want to do a condition such as if ABC equals to 312, you know, if that's the case, then I might want to rethink on how I actually name my variables. Because they are, I mean, then this is already looking tricky. Like I'm already unsure of what's going on. So let's keep this in as my text and my text. Something like that is frustrating when it happens, when you don't catch it, but it is something that you'll gain the skill of over time. I promise you. It's just about recognizing how you name variables. And this is true in Python in general, right? So sometimes you might name a variable one thing and then it's rendering as something else. It's also true with functions and classes. I mean, I've seen it happen a lot and it's happened to me so much. So I just wanted to bring your attention to that because of what we're doing right now. Okay, so going back into this about page, I have this condition here, right? So I actually created one and it's really simple. We just call an if statement. So percent if some variable or some thing that would be able to compare to another thing or more simply if something is you know, true. So you could also pass in a context variable in here. So back in my view, I could just say, uh, this is true and just set it equal to true, right? So I can, I can still use that. So these conditions, what they allow you to do is just evaluate whether or not this statement is true. And you can use things like equals equals, just like I have here. And then inside of that block, inside of here, you can render something in particular. So let's go ahead and render that something in here. And you know what? I'm going to throw in a, another little conceptual thing that we'll take a look at later. But let's just say add 22. So I've got a straight arrow, also known as, or a straight line, also known as a pipe. And then we just type out add colon and then whatever number we want to add. So we do that and then we refresh in here. And I've got stuff rendered out. So notice that the third iteration goes twice. Now this is because I have my if statement, but then I also have the default or what I used to have. Now what we actually want to do is instead of having the default like that, we would just say an else clause in here and bring in that else clause just like this. That way that the list can be iterated through and if ABC is equal to 312, then it's going to render that out and add 22 to it. So we save that and we refresh and now it's still only those four items, except that one condition is now met and it's allowing us to do some addition. Now we can also have another condition, right? So if I came in here and wanted another condition, you might be tempted to say something like else if, but in Django, it's elif, just like that. And that's how we would do another condition. So we can check that other condition and let's just say if it's equal to ABC or that single string. So if it's equal to ABC, we can keep that for loop counter in there if we want, or we can say, this is not the network, ABC. There we go. Nice little ways of doing conditions. Now you probably are wondering like, what the heck is this? What's going on here? That is actually called a built-in template tag filter. So every single one of these items is called a, it's, it is a context variable, but it's a template tag itself. It's like 
rendering something out that's specific to the Django templates and the templating engine. And all this does is it does a very basic function on that context. Well, we'll play around with that a little bit more in the next one. Um, so make sure you subscribe to get everything. And thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time.